Right, today number nine, our card. In to bay, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. I N E S S W S S. It's such a weird way to like write something, and it's sus to me. Well, we can find Tabay, maybe, if that's actually a thing. Um, Tabay. You wouldn't think following the modern railway line into Tabay that this prosperous village was once home to a notorious prophets. Many Bain, Mary Baines, a local witch, haunted the locals with her tales about the end of the world. Although such pro um, prognostications may seem quaint nowadays, her grave in the churchyard is still avoided by all in the village, and nothing grows there. Okay, so that was obviously not the right place to go. My other thoughts on this matter are as follows. North, east, south, south, west, south, south. From Tibet. I think that's honestly a, a very ideal situation that may have been actually what we need to do. I feel like that is probably how we do. Because it's just a little bit sus how it's written. How it's written? Written? I England great. I do England goodly. So what we did go... Uh, north, east, south, south, north, east, south, south, west, south, south. I'm so smart. I'm so intelligent. F31. I find myself on a patch of moorland surrounded by jagged peaks and a menacing and menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the swear swaths of purple. Purple heather and there another. Two plants. Hmm. Very cool. Okay. Okie dokie. Long Meg. Sorry, I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out for you in the library. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late nights in the library are taking their toll. Okay, so she doesn't know about Long Meg either. So that's kind of like a recurring thing, I guess. Fever kiss is a... Red berries provide an energy boost that lasts long hours. Leaves a pale in color. Where's Mr. Redberry? Is that this guy? Thin leaves, small purple red berries. It's this one. Boom. Easy clap. Collect. Book entry. Mountain a story. Promotes an aura of confidence and persuasiveness. Okie dokie. Cool. Um, next. We're getting really through the list. There's talk around town about a woman who wears a green mask made of jade. I know about her. I've been been with her a lot. Um, there are all sorts of oddballs in Undermere, but that's certainly unusual. Okie dokie. Beach. Beachfoot candle. Okay, this is another one of these. We're going to go there. We know how to do it now, so we're going to go. Beachfoot candle. Bitch foot. Bitch foot, bitch foot, bitch foot. Um. One thing that I hate about this is just searching the map endlessly for like one place and then we never, never need to go back there. 
Bigfoot. Yep. What? 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 Bigfoot. Yeah, that's probably okay. And candle. How did we do this last time? Like, lined it up. Like, perfectly in the middle. Candle. There. The candle leads me east of... Um, west water. <laughs> to the north of the mighty scale... Scaleful Pike? Scaleful Pike. Brent is using those brain meats. I sure am. I sure am. I do big brain stuff. Um, uh, grazes across the sky. The tallest peak in England. The challenge beckons to me perhaps another time. England. The England. That's a spooky looking plant. Holy moly. He looking crazy. He looking kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. Right, that's one done. Let's continue with the day. Um, I've been talking to people around town, trying to learn as much as I can about this beast that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. Um, the old world they called this thing the servant, but the people here have seemed to have forgotten that name. Oh no. Except the group calling themselves the Seeds of Redemption. And Mystic told us we can't join them. They are something I did not expect, and they have made it clear that they want me to stay away from the servant. They seem to worship it. But I'm getting distracted. My Dranthium supplies are low. I need more. Dranthium. Okay. A plant which powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale the smoke from their burning, uh, from burning its long, sharp leaves, elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. Some known Dranthium as Green Eye, a name derived from the telltale sign of overdose, when even the whites of the eyes take on a green tint. He's nearing overdose levels. Not gonna lie, he's nearing overdose levels, and that's probably not a good thing. Um, it could be this one. Purple flowers, long thin leaves, surprisingly sharp edges. Boom. Boom. He's, he's nearing overdose levels. Men's, don't overdose on, um, green eye. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. He's gotta die. We just sent someone to die. No! Oh my gosh. Ruben, hi. Um, I crept around Blackcomb two nights ago in the pitch black. That eyebright is some potent stuff. I could see clear as day. Upon the fell, I found a shallow pit of full of skulls, some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an airy silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Make it stop. That's what he's going to say. <laughs> Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise like an... X makers whetstone, an unmistake, but unmistakably animal. High on the ridge line, I saw a cowed woman wearing a jade mask watching me, and beside her, something dark, inhumane, and bloody huge. Dark. Um. Uh. I don't. It. I don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depth with this one. I need to speak to Verona again. While I'm here, I'll grab some wild coal for my pounding head. You'd have been out drinking too if you'd seen what I did. Uh-huh, that's what they all say. That's what they all say, buddy. Wild coal. The purple berries are recommended by physicians in the place of here in place of here of the dog. Mentality is a tonic for those suffering the effects of having drunk too much the night before. There are some who consider wild coal as a sacred plant, perhaps owing to its rarity and claim that it is a bad it is bad luck to pick berries from it P purple purple berries purple red berries this one wild coal boom easy clap norwood nor 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 right emily hello well this looks like the right place 
I don't want to have to traipse all the way over to Red Pike, so hopefully you've got what I'm after. Maybe. Um, a non-flowering plant with small, smallish leaves and some grow mostly near Red Pike. Uh, at least that's the only place I found. Oh, we had that one. We have that one. I can't remember what it's called. We went to Red Pike to get thing. I can't remember what it was called though. A non-flowering plant with smallish leaves. Oh, common trouse. I was on the page itself. Um, common trouse is like somewhere along here, right? Maybe it's over here. Oh, there's more. Brimlock. We have common trouse. I just need to find it. It was pretty early when we got it. Common trust, there we go. Boom, easy clap. Easy clap. Okay. Hi, kitty. Hello. Verona, poor Ruben. He looks a little worse for wear this morning. Oh no. He took it hard when his wife died and never did quite give up the drink. I think I know what ritual was performed at the stone circle. It all adds up. It was a summoning spell. Someone called to something across the void and tried to bring it here. And with the state of that body all torn to shreds, I'd say they succeeded. Oh no, we're all gonna die. And then the gilded dendra. That really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthing's bestiary. A little light reading for you. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest again. The sisterhood will know more. Okay, have fun. Oh, yikes. It has many names. Some call it the Woken Dendru, believing it to be related to, in some way, to the uh, deadly gilded dendro plant. Others call it the Night Stalker. The Mimasa? Or the Dread. But the most common name for it in the sh shries, sh shires is Servant. You'll have heard of it in the children's songs such as Keep the Fire Burning and the Servant and the Master. Um, and there are hints of it in the older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. It is said that the dead ground, nor uh, the dead ground northeast of Tibet, where nothing but black Digitus Mortis Grows was caused when the servant last um, walked our lands hundreds of years ago. So what we need to do is go to the dead ground northeast of Tibet. Or Tibet, whatever you want to call it. Northeast. Never eat. Soggy wheat mix. We got a plant. Pocket champ. Um, the wide area of blackened ground here is known to the locals as Dead Man's Field. Dark mushrooms protrude from the sto soil like fingers reaching out from the grave. Boom. Case closed. Oh. That's like, cr that's creepy. I don't like that mushroom. That mushroom is not cool. It's the end of the day. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of intrigued about this whole like elixir thing. Why does it look like that? I don't know. I don't know, chat. I don't know why it looks like that, but I do not like it. I do not like it at all. Zero out of ten. Let's see if we can, like, figure out what plants this is. Um, so what is it? Let's figure out what plants they are. We'll look at the first one. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leaves and a fluffy thing in the middle. 
Um, um boop, boop, boop. could be winterbone oh hello don't know about that one maybe we just leave that we'll just leave that for now we'll just end day i'm happy okay card time boom it's blank <laughs> Every day, she attentively followed the teaching of Arda. Ugh. Every day, she patiently performed the task given to her. Every day, thoughts of the book etched away at the back of her mind. This card is blank. I don't trust it. Sunday, day 10. You know what? There's something up. Oh my gosh. A secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of... Foxfield. Two miles north of Foxfield. One, two. Three ravens circle above, their cores and croaks, cleaving the silence. An omen, I take what I came for and leave. New plot discovered. This one here. Okay, interesting. That was a quick one. I like when they're quick. You know, it makes me feel smart. Right, let's see. David, mail time. Mail time. One from your librarian friend today. Ooh, hello. In reference to your question the other day about Long Meg, I'm afraid I do not have an answer, but Calder Abbey has a wealth of knowledge on local lore. Lore! If you ever go there, the monks will request a plant from you, but they won't tell you what they want. A sort of test. They're never allowed me in to look through their stacks, Simone. Okay, Calder Abbey. Let's let's move to Calder Abbey. That's up here, right? Calder Abbey. A small window opens within a much... Um, larger oak door from the darkness um only a friend may enter we need the one that makes you a friend i think which is a can i remember the name mm, candy root fox button fox button it wasn't candy root it was the one before candy root fox button it's like over here it's this one right Nope, that's Hop Heart. Uh, Fox Button. Meek Jew. Fox Button. I'm so good. Sh Sheep Snap. It's a funny name. Um, the hatch snaps shut and the oak door swings inward slowly without a sound. I am ushered by a man wearing a plain brown robe. He nods silently when I ask about Long Meg and leads me through the abbey to a small library filled with scrolls and books. Without a word, he pauses for a moment, surveying, before selecting a scroll and handing it to me. Regarding Long Meg. There is a stone circle north of Undermere. According to local legend, some hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years ago, a witch known as Long Meg lived nearby along with her daughters. They were wild godless people who practiced evil magic until one night they went too far and meg and her daughters were turned to stone the tall stone that stands apart from the main circle is called long meg by the locals okay so north of get out of here book get out of here get out of here book so north of um undermere North of Undermere is a stone circle. I guess over like there. Stone circle north of Undermere. And this it means literally like one north of Undermere. Um 
thousands of years ago that witch donors long need lived nearby. Along with the daughters, they were a wild, godless people who practiced evil magic until one night they went off. The stone, the tall stone that stands apart from the main circle, is called Long Meg. I mean, I guess we can travel just north of Undermere. Nothing here. Okay, don't worry then. Okay, so we've done that one. Um, start at Long Meg, South 3, East 2. Like there, maybe? Uh, 24. I 24. Haven't we already been there, though? Well, we'll try again. We'll try again. I 24. Boom. I-24. I-24. I. No. So unless it is like these stones up here, like the mountains, and that's what they mean by a stone circle. Or you mean that stone circle. Because technically it is north. But it is also more northeast. South, three, east, two. One, two, three, one, two. So like there. We'll try that. Okay. Let's go here first. Angel site Gordon. A lone pillar of redstone to sandstone stands off to one side. Okay, so I think from there we go. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. To that, like, weak thing. I think that's what we're going to do. And we'll see if that works. We'll see. We see. If not, that's okay. We do have plenty of plants. We can probably feed people enough plants for a little bit, at least. Um. How long have we got? Nearly two hours. Okay. I'll probably do a few more days and then probably finish off for the day. Um, so, what? It was south three, east two. One, two, three, one, two. I did it? Okay. I did it, I think. A river is in its youth here, flowing swiftly through the rocks with a melodic gurgle. Among the tall grasses that line the riverbank is much more unusual looking flower. Long Meg. No, Golden Light. Golden Light? Golden Light. Let's quickly label that. Uh, golden Light. And we'll just keep this one over here because it's a self labeled one. Um, okay, Pog, Pog. Um, okay, book, hello, next up. Verona, hello, welcome back. The sisterhood are trying my patience again. If the old Arda was around, but she's not. They've kept secrets for hundreds of years. If ever there was a time to share them, it is now. They know of the way to defeat this servant. Some ritual or weapon or something. But their stubborn pride won't bring them to ask for help. Unlucky. 
Well, I won't sit by idly and do nothing. I'd rather, I'd better have a little chat with this new Arda. And I think I'll take some Mountain Astori with me. Uh, Mountain Astori. Promotes an aura of confidence and persuasiveness. Large cup of a large cup like flower that produces a stale, damp smell. This one. Boom, that was easy. That was easy. Weeping Bell. Put that one there. Boom. We're making such good progress on the defining all of the things. Thomas Green. Oh my gosh. I have finished the designs you asked me to work on. Be careful unwrapping these. Some of the glasswork is quite delicate. I have taken great care transporting them. What? Oh, my lab equipment is finally here. You will now be able to brew elixirs using ingredients from my plants. Oh, okay, and that's what this is. We need to figure out what that first one is, though. I can be a brewer. -a. a brewer. -a Bethany. The new Arda wouldn't like me being here, but the forest is in danger. I spoke with Verona Green earlier. It's bad. If the Dendru has awoken, then it will come for us. You must place an offering at the altar of Arduina. Should I do that? Chat, should I should I decline this one? We've already declined one cult. Should I decline another? Natalie, hello. I'm being harassed by Looney shouting the redemption, saying they're going to set set it free, whatever the hell that means. Well, they can take their seeds of whatever, Woken something or other nonsense, and stick it where the sun doesn't shine. Wow, this Natalie girl, she's fiery. I'm not joining their damn cult. I just want to tend my garden in peace. I'm looking for some lark shine to drive them away if they come around again. She's gonna murder them. Definitely, lark shine. Uh, lark shine. Uh, Lakshine is a plant with powerful defense mechanism. It releases stinging barbs triggered, <laughs> triggered by a light touch. The pain is said to be unbearable and can last for several days. Sometimes confusingly called the kidney flower, this is thought to be a reference to the kidney-shaped seeds held within the spiny pods that grow from the plant. What prickly things do we have here? We have this. This is it. That's... She's gonna kill them. I'm... I'm basically condoning murder. The Lizzle of Neptune. Um, so do you think that we should um, do you think that we should go to this place and offer a offering? Girl boss moment, complete girl boss moment. Um, so we should go here. Where was it again? It's in Grisdale Forest. It's like here. It seems. Oh, oh gosh, we can offer two things. Oh no, we have a choice. It seems Beth has been able to keep a, keep her fellow sisters away from this part of the forest for now, at least. The trees are thick here, old too. The altar seems to belong here, as much of la 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 as much a part of the forest as the gnarled, gnarled, gnarled trunks and twisting roots. I must place an offering to the goddess Arduina. Okay, what are our options? Oh no. Embersoul and Caldery. Embersoul. Embersoul is thought to have protective properties. It is sometimes given as an offering to various de deities in return for sanctuary. Produces flowers with many petals. Watch out for leaves that raise a sharp or caldery, which I think we've already done. We oh no, we haven't done yet. 
Um, the uses of Cauldry are not very well known. Some say it has applications of dark magic, but the author has found neither substance nor specifics to back up those claims. Those who worship the um, huntress Arduina place the flower as an offering to ensure a successful hunt. It grows from a thin stem with a small leaves. Which one do we do? Imbasol or Cauldry? It feels like we might want to do Cauldry if we want to be friends with this person. Well, with this goddess. But then also, the other one offers protection. So do we offer them good hunting or do good protection for ourselves? Are we selfless or selfish? Hmm. What should we do? What should we do? I have no clue. I am confusion. Very confusion. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Rose? Which one should we do? Can I even find these? You don't know. That's not very helpful. It's like a single, single like thingy, my Bob. It could be that. It's probably that one. So that's the caldery, I would say. The music's making you too sleepy. Understandable. I feel like we just do a caldery. We're doing a cauldry, because surely that will be fine. You know, we need we need them to hunt the thing down and kill it. Kill it with fire and everything they've got. So, that's obviously... Oh, that's one that I self-proclaimed. Let's just move that right over there. Um, okay, so we've done that, Pog. Um, do we have this leaf? Yep. I assume it would match the drawings in here. It looks like it would. Um, I don't know why we need to make this either. I just feel like we have to. Or we should. You know? Um, doesn't look like we do. Unless it's that one. It could be that one. But it looks like it's got too many. Hi, OTHG. Welcome. How are you today? Um, okay. End day. Next day. What do we got? Card. This one's got holes in it. Oh, gosh. Uh, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Very cool. In time she learned that the sisterhood had secrets. Or had she always known that? Had she come to them by chance? Or had she sought them out deliberately? She wasn't sure, but now she knew she wasn't... Uh, uh, but by now she knew what she wanted and she would do anything to get it. Oh my gosh. I think I know where this card leads. Or I don't know where it leads, but I know how to figure it out. Day 11! Monday. Okay. I hate how the drawer is closed at the start of the day. It frustrates me. Um, so, what my thoughts are for this card is 902 is this one. And 803 is there. So then it's that square there. I don't know how to like figure that out i guess we're gonna have to just trace it um 902 that one 803 is there it's like a16 i think a16 
it is cool impressive ridge line of um, kringle crags such a cool name stretches across the full width of my vision days like today are worth being alive for a colorful plant stands out amongst the moss that looks so cool oh my gosh that's sick that plant is sick look at that dude that's amazing that's amazing dude hi kitty George Campbell my old man reckons there's a plant that uh, my old man reckons there's a plant what can find pots of gold buried underground don't know what it's called but I bet you do um, tell you what when I'm rich I'll throw a share of the gold your way weeping bell that's over here weeping bell a plant that is believed to blah, I can't read oh my gosh a plant that is believed by many to lead to gold you'll have you will have about oh my gosh you'll have about as much luck searching for the end of the rainbow the soft frilled leaves can soothe insect bites and stings it is also known as golden light and sometimes fool's hope golden light boom we did it lesser merry dog see that's why you just identify them and put them separately if you need to very smart very smart right next sorry kitty amos hello i'm heading out on the road again but before i leave i wanted to share to store some valuables in a safe um i don't trust myself to remember the combination and i certainly don't trust myself to write it down anywhere and not lose it um this is where you come in surely you've got something up your sleeve for me the Baylox elixir oh okay so we have to make it so clearly we can make it we just need to figure out what plant it actually is that we do to make it okay so we need something that looks like that How many things is that? That's three. It needs to be either. There needs to be like two with like. Okay, it's not that one. That's not any of them. That's one, so it won't be that. It could be. That one looks like it's too many. That's too many, I think. A bill was just passed by the Senate to make daylight saving time permanent. Oh my gosh. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. That would be amazing. Um, not that one. Don't think it's that one. Probably not that one. I think it still needs to go through something else and then the president can sign. That would be so good. Oh my gosh. Why can't all countries be like that? Um, okay, so I think Lady of the Summer is one of them. I need to find a flat sort of one with two little spooky bits doesn't have spooky bits pointy bits pokey bits whatever you call them it's not that one or that one um could be this one i think it might be winter boar winter boar lady whatever and then we need to figure out the last one let's just start that winter boar which we have discovered already somewhere
Grimlock, Lady Summer, Winter Boar, um, Winter Boar, looks like it, and then this one, what could this one be? Has like one, two, three, five flat leaves. Flat bottom leaves with two spoky bits. What are the ones with spike spokies? Does that one have it? No. This one has it. Um it could be that one. I don't particularly have flat leaves. We could try that. Nope. I think it's that one that is wrong. Um, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Could be this one, maybe? No, probably not that one. That's definitely. Hmm, maybe it isn't that one either. It's only got five. Does it have five? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably not that one then. I feel like this is like the. Hmm. Maybe it's not that one either. So it has like distinctive lines on it. not lady of the summer what's the whole part i don't think it's that one could it be this one? Ooh, could be eyebright um where's eyebright 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 Um, that looks pretty similar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's right. That's the first one. One, two, three, four, five, with two spoky bits. One, two, three, six. Um, wrong flowers. That's just one. Maiden Sorrow. That has five. Doesn't have two spoky bits, though. Hmm. This do be difficult. I don't know. I don't know if that's right. Jacob's What is it? Jacob's worth. Um 
Where's Jay? Jacob's work. Um, hmm. Don't know about that one. Oops. It's not that one. I feel like we're just going off the, like, pictures way too much. That one can't be it because it's only got one. That's got so many. Also thin leaves. Oh, it could be this. One, two, three, four, five, s one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it won't be that. Does anybody in chat know what it could be? Guess we could also just see if we have any in this bit. Won't be that one. This one? No, not really. Um, could be this one possibly. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. That four, so probably not. This one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's it. That's the last one. I don't know what plant that is, but that's the last one. Um, and then need the first one. It's kind of like this, though. It's probably that one, actually. I did it. Okay. This is, um, what's it called? Bay, bay locks. Bay lock. Elixir. Elixir. Okay. And then you can, like, inspect it. A pale blue liquid. Unless I just absolutely floaked it, fluked it, but nope. That is bay locks. Amazing! Spring wax cap. Wow. Don't know what half of those things that we used were, but hey, we did it. We did it. Let's let's put elixirs over this side. Let's just start filling from this side for elixirs. Sounds fun. Um Man, that was um That was something. Does it it doesn't get put into here either. Interesting. Uh okay. Hello, Alice. Um, I can't remember the name. Uh, I've run out of something. I can't remember its name. It's a sweet smelling plant with the small purple flowers. I need it for reasons. Sweet smelling plant with small purple flowers. Um, it's probably easy just to look for it. Sweet smelling. Delicate scent. Nope, not that. Okay. Alluring. Probably not that one. That one's kind of bad. This is that one. Small purple flowers. Nothing that I can detect. That's blue. The sweet scent, that one. What? Oh no. Oh, don't worry. I've got one more try. One more try. It's pungent, but not unpleasant. This one, maybe? Nope, I'm dead. Oof. Oof! Oh no, not keys. No. No! No, 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 no. This is not cool. No. I think it's this one. It was not that one. It's this one. If. Big if. Uh, I hate keys. Keys are annoying. Ah, ah. 
Keys, please stop, stop, stop. Boom. Easy clap. Okay, day 11, Monday. Maybe it'll be a different one. Nope, it's the same lady. Oh, small. Hmm. Hmm. It's not Cabela. Unless it is Dranthium. Let's just try every single purple flower we have. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get it right. Solomon Spec. Really? You want that one? That one's kind of bad, isn't it? Solomon Skepta. Spectre. Hell's Gate. Yeah, that one doesn't sound good. That's why I didn't think it was that one. Um, oh goodness, hello boy, haven't you been getting enough food? Oh my gosh, my cat is fine, dude. That's terrible. Whatever will become of you? Oh my gosh, she's roasting my cat. My mother's had me looking into the servant creature for you, but I'm afraid I've, I've not been getting anywhere. It's strange. I'm sure I've seen some reference to it before, but I'm drawing a blank when I try to find anything. I think Lord Friendman's archives would be a good place to look. I was going to post this to you, but I was in town anyway, so I thought I would drop it off in person. Um, that and sneak in some Haldor hugs. Collect. I think she likes my cat more than she likes me. <laughs> I've not been getting anywhere looking through my collections in Ambush side for any mention of the servant, but Lord Friendman's archives in Muncaster are home to many ancient and historic scrolls covering a wide variety of subjects. Okay, let's go to Muncaster. Um, I follow um, Friendmont's manservant um, deep into the vaults of the castle. Two hours later, I have fa still found no mention of servant on the verge of giving up a name grabs my attention the woken dendro didn't verona say that was another name for the servant she did actually that's done Bob, archive um the woken dendro is loyal to the summoner who becomes its master and can bend its terrible power to their will the servant is assumed to be immortal since it has no known vulnerabilities, but that does not mean that it cannot be defeated. Many hundreds of years ago, a site of the ritual importance was created near Black Comb. To the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak, and the Dendru was ousted from the world. Unfortunately, although we know that five plants were required for the ritual, the specific plants are not known. Um, to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak, and the Dendru was ousted. What about the plague? To the south? Of the Watcher. Let's go to Blackcomb to start with. Let me get some energy to go to Blackcomb. There we go. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Rip. Rip. Oh, sick. Like, I think it's like. Like every other one. You get the stone and then you get the other thing. One day I'll be a master at this. That's not right. What do you mean that's not right? What do you mean? That looked perfect in my opinion. Uh, 
Um, nope. Bum, bum, bum. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. 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 Of course, it's gonna be like one of the last ones I try. Boom. Nope. 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 What? Nope. Okay. That, that looked like it would fit. Doesn't though. That is not right. That is not right. That's right. That's right. Feel like that one goes there. Feel like this one. And then I feel like this one. And then I feel like this one and this one. Easy clap. I'm so smart. So smart. A, thank you. I tried. I did really well on that one, I thought. I thought I was very good. Um, let's go south of the Great Oak. Um, to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak, and the Dendro. Who's ousted? So it's south of the Great Oak, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And what it means by that. It's basically saying to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak. The Great Oak, thus meaning it's the Watcher. Actually, no, we're not watering those weird finger things. They don't deserve water. They're weird. They need to go away. Um, and that is... What? Where did my thing go? Is it because I didn't have my thing open? Probably. It's just there. Oh, there's... A tr I need to go to the south of it. Oops. Oopsie daisy! Watering time. Watering time with Brent. What if we water the potion? Oh, we can't. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um, right, one more. And any moment now. Okay. Um, I think it's there, right? Yeah, so it's there. Ha ha! Small sh stone shrine sits off to one side of the clearing. Five grooves run out from the center of the stone, widening into recess at the base. Five slots for five plants. This is the right place, but I'm too early to help. Too early, I need Verona's help to perform the ritual. Okay, so we found the place. That's fine. That's good. We just need to get Verona to help. John Hall. Hi. Norwood, please. I find it's a thing that can keep me from nodding off on the night shift. Man, I think Rose needs some Norwood as well. Um, this will probably be my last day, I think. How, how long have we been going? Yeah, this will probably be my last day. Because I actually need to have a little bit of a break. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Norwood. Um, crunchy root. I was yawning as you said that. Oh my gosh. A bite of the crunchy root of this plant has the effect of a cold bucket of water thrown over your face. An unpleasant sensation accompanied by sharp focus. It is claimed that Norwood releases spores that are invisible to the naked eye, showing only under unnatural light. Oh. It's a mushroom. this one that was easy you just look at them and see which one changes daisy doc are you going to keep this game in your rotation friend i will for sure until we finish it um definitely 
definitely, definitely, definitely. I love this game. That's why I streamed twice today. That's how much I like it. It's interesting, I know. Oh, that was the end of the day. Oh, we should do one more. We, we'll do one more. One more day. One more day. When her chance finally came, she did not hesitate even for a moment. Afterwards, when Arda was dead, she felt only elation. Years after she had first laid eyes on the book, she had what she needed. You missed the earlier stream? That's okay. It'll be up on my second channel, or you can go and watch the VOD on Twitch here um, as well. The first letter of the Latin name of the plant known as Golden Light. Um, the number of petals on the lucky Kabila flower. Okay. Latin name of the Golden Light. What was that one again? Oh, shoot. Mellow glow. Hold up. We just need to. We just need to go page by page. Um. Number of petals on the one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the number we're looking for. I feel it's not that one. It's not that one. I no, not I bright. It's not unless it is Dranthian. No, it's not Dranthian. It's the Weeping Bell, isn't it? The Weeping Bell. Nope, that's the well, Weeping Bell. Golden Light. Okay, L. L. Um, six was it? Did I say six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, L6. Uh, L, take an L. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay. I was wrong. I hate when I take an L. I really took an L there because I was big wrong. Is it not the one with the weeping bell? Golden light. First letter of the Latin name of the plant known as Golden Light. The number of petals on a lucky. Oh, a lucky is seven, isn't it? Yeah, seven. L seven. I won't take an L this time because I know that it is seven. Imagine taking an L. SMH. I would never. I would never. I would simply say no. No L's for me. L7. I really took a big L. This is so sad. L1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I amble through Meadowland, stopping every so often to examine any wild f wild flowers that catch my eye. Buttercups, daisy, cowslips, red clover, knapweed, cat's ear, and hidden among them, something new for my collection. Two new plants. Wow. Cool. Cool. Verona. Hello. The sisterhood was attacked last night. Oh no, did you die? Bethany is dead. Oh my gosh, Bethany, she died. I don't even know who Bethany is. Along with the new Arda and 13 others. Those damn fools with their secrets. No amount of pleading with them could get them back to see sense. But though through the, the, through blind luck, we have been left with a slender hope in this fight. Sister Charlotte managed to escape the slaughter and is the one thing that could help us in the fight against the servant. Um, maybe they did need the protection. Trust no one. Keep it hidden, but get it open. What the heck do we do with this? Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it's a it's a petal. Do I have to find the flower and put it on it? Is that like the thing that I have to do here? We're just gonna continue. Hi, David. They're saying the sisterhood has been attacked. Don't know much more than that, but those seeds of redemptionists have got all excited about it. Here, there's a bunch of them chanting outside full of us right now. Foxfield Trident. Let's do this. Foxfield Trident. From Foxfield, the trident points me in the direction of some foothills northwest of Swinside Stone Circle. A faint path leads me over a ridge and into a dell. Here, a plant thrives, sheltered from the wind. Oh, he's cute. Wait a second. Nope, that was... Okay, so you have to drag the right flower in. I thought that might be the case. I thought that might be the case. What flower though? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to Blackcomb. I will kill the servant. My people have a saying, he who lives without fear does not live at all. He's overdosing. I will not say that I am not afraid, but I would be no bad thing to die hunting such a noble adversary. I will take Imbecile. Okay, dude. I think we've already got that one, right? Imbecile? Oh, we don't. Okay. Um, Imbecile is thought to have protective properties. It is sometimes given to an as an offering to various deities in return for sanctuary. Produces flowers with many petals. Um, watch out for sharp leaves. They're razor sharp. Hmm, this one? Gentle scent. Yep, these. There's two little leaves. There needs to be many leaves. Like this one, maybe. Like, uh, this one, maybe. Probably not. Yeah, didn't think so. This one, probably. Yeah, this one. Imbecile. Widows, whoa! Whoa there! Whoa there! Okay. I need to find what plant this is. I want to open this. That's six. It needs to be one, two, three, four, five. Milton, hi. Allow me to present my services. I am a small shop that specializes in curiosities. I would have thought that someone in your position ought to be interested in pursuing our collection of manuscripts on elixirs, for example. Uh, yes. Okay. Streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic in many places, building these out. Blah, 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 blah. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from the main. What? That? How does that help? I meant to go to this place, this dude's place. Arnside Antiquities. Maybe we need to go to Arnside. Where's Arnside? His amble side. Um, where the heck is arm side? I don't even know where arm side is. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, onside there. Okay. Oh, always do that. And let's just zoom out. <laughs> um, okay, let's just water some plants real quick. I just thought that it was in the same city as me because that makes sense. But it doesn't make sense and that's not how it works. I should have known this. Not everything is in the same city. I want to open this. Dark interior of onside antiquity blends into its surroundings. A tailor called Jones and um, and an ugly looking what the heck haberdashery. To the extent that I walk past it three times before I find it inside. However, I am greeted by a world of intrigue and wonder. Old trinkets sit alongside faded books and manuscripts, while strange utensils and machines, you uh, machines their uses unfathomable occupy. I've just realized what I can use to open that lock. Um, it is some time before I peel myself away, returning to Undermere for two new recipes for elixirs that I demand further study. Elixir of the Damned and St. Quentin's Elixir. Okay. Cool. Cool beans that can go away. I think I've figured out how to unlock this. It's something that we did earlier. We need to use the the thing that unlocks things. I can't remember what it is. The love lock. Love lock? That's the... What is that? I can't remember what it's called. Brimlock. No. It's not that one. Um, it's a Calvillum. Calvillum. Brimlock. Mary's Breath, Harlequin Blue, Calvillum. I'm so smart and intelligent. Look at me go. I am the best. Follow the Duddon tributary to its source. First the corpse friend, a reminder, then comes the ankle grabber, the binder. Third is the fear bringer. Fourth to lift a curse. Last, a petal to secure the black blood's reverse. Oh, so that's all of the plants that we need. Follow the Duddon tributary to its source. I assume that means a river. The Duddon River. Or whatever. River Duddon to its source. Hard Knot. Let's go there. Hey chat, let's go. Let's go to Hard Knot. Or just other hard lock. Nothing here? What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, unless we have to go actually too hard not. Follow the Dutton tributary to its source. Maybe we do have to go to hard not. Or like north of it, north of its source. Maybe. I don't know. Let's quickly try and smash this one out and then we could probably brew some potions and then we'll probably have to call it a day and one more and kablam okay so to its source which theoretically would be there right why did i come here great question okay i don't know about that one i don't know about that one we'll leave that one for now let's do this one um saint quentin's elixir um elixir will able enable any drinker of it to overcome their sense of fear Though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always a bad thing. For example, it would not be wise to drink this near the edge of a cliff. You're probably right about that. A five-pointed leaf to grant courage. Oh my gosh. Um, 
stream cold skin rashes um peace uh Yeah, 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 successful hunt, probably not courage, um, ice strain, um, oh, daisy dock, okay, we don't have daisy dock, I discovered yet, it is said that ancient warriors take this before going into battle, a simple potion that will grant courage can be brewed from its leaves daisy dock that's probably daisy dock nope that's probably not daisy dock this is probably daisy dock one two three four five okay so it's that one let's just label this daisy dock real quick daisy dock sock nope dock lovely Okay, can we change the color of this? No. Let's go red. Because then it knows that I've done it. Daisy and a sock. Yep, pretty much. Um, a red flower to protect the mind. Um, hold up, let's just do this one first um a red flower to protect the mind the stomach the psychic um uh, stream cold skin rashes um Red flower to protect the mind. Protecting all against of the mind. So it'll be candlewood, which we again we don't know. Grows among long tall leaves. Is that candlewood? Long thing stems. Yeah, that's it. So this is candlewood. Candle wood. And that goes there. And then a seed pod for luck. Unless it's the um Not that one. Luck. Luck, 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 luck. Is that... Uh, we're just going to look through it. Not that one. Eye strain. Um, something about curses. We've done Daisy Dog. Devil's Night Trap. Seed. It will agonizingly slow death. Yep. Nope. Not that one. <laughs> not that one. Smoke. Uh, awareness levels... Um, causes blood to slowly turn black. Definitely not that one. Um, protective. Nope. Uh, it produces considered overpowering by some. Rejuvenate aching bones. Um, bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Uh, lasting damage. Fatigue, boost of energy, um, sleeping, uh, friendship, digestive troubles, poison, um, stomach distress, I don't know what that one would be used for. Wind dispersal. Um, uh, 
Amnesia. Uh, there's too many plants. Pain relief. Uh, locate someone. Uh, memory deterioration aid. Pain. Lemon dandy is afflictions of heart. Um, mental drain. Uh, drain a person's mental faculties. Yep, that's great. Um, force a person to tell the truth. That's not quite what we want. Um, beloved, believe to lift curses. Okay, not what we want either. Um, stop the mind from wandering. Um, bound to secrecy. Meek Jew is painful sores. Protect from predators. Confidence. Sharp focus. Um... Not that one. Anxiety. Hidden treasures and secret writings. Rena's detect poisons. Royal Gentria is... Um... Swift Snare. Ah, oh, release Swift Snare. So that's a binding. Um... Good Fortune... When prepared correctly, the green seed pods of the sheep snap have hard outer shell sound and sound hollow when tapped. To the south, they can be cool plant bulbs of Bayon. So it's that one. We need to figure it out. Do we have anything that has... Do we have any more, like, berry things? Because that would probably be it. What's that one? Nope. This is mushroom. Viscous liquid. Yikes. Somewhat pungent. Hmm, I don't know if we have this one yet. I don't think we can do this. Um, Because that's probably what it is. This sheep snap. Unless there's some more down here that we haven't um, properly. We haven't found this one yet. So we're going to have to find that one. So we can't actually do that. Can't do that one. This one is, what's that? Um, Elixir of the Damned. Okay, let's see if we can do this one. Um, Arbitum, let's just drop these back down here, Arbitum Alicatus, um, Cabalia, which is somewhere over here, we had it just before, right? Uh, Cabalia, lovely. Okay. Um, Maculosis Retina. What was that one? No, that's not it. My, um, oh wait, uh, Dranthium is the third one, Dranthium, okay, and then we just need the Maculosis Retina. Apologies for my Latin, it is not great. <laughs> uh, Macula, Henchlick, Henchuk, Henchuk, 
how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck hen chuck? Uh, now I need a fine hen chuck. Somewhere on the bottom row, I think. Somewhere, probably over here a little bit. Hen chuck, boom. Elixir of Damned. Okay. Patterson's Guide to Fatal Fungi and Their Antidotes. That's quite cool. Okay. Um, where did that go? Probably over here somewhere, right? There it is. So this is the Elixir of Damned. Let's just rename this. Let's put this in a purple. Okay. Um, we'll put this in a purple. Elixir of Damned. Da damned. Lovely. Cool. That's pretty good. That could be archived. Um, we can't do that one. I don't think... Hop hard boiled in vinegar. Don't know about that one. Don't know about that one. Don't know about that one. It's okay that your Latin isn't good, Brent, unless you work in the medical or scientific fields. Other than that, it's a dead language. Yep. All singing. But, like, you don't really need to know it. You just need to, like, say the things that are on the on the thing. So, it's not, like, super important. Um, okay. I think, I think that is a good wrapping up point for today. I think that's good. We'll just read this last wee little bit. Equipped with the artist's knowledge, she betrayed West. She journeyed West. Not betrayed. She journeyed West to the stone circle. Unknown to her, she was not alone as she made her preparations. Okay, and next time we will continue on. We've got to go to Endmore Raven Spider. ERS. Mm, don't know where that would be at all. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, feel free to follow if you haven't already.